Welcome everyone. Gran Turismo 7. So I'm swapping again from Project Cars 2, which I streamed last time to, to Gran Turismo 7. Time to uh, follow this uh, cafe menu books. Let's see where we are because I don't really remember. It is menu book number 18, collection Nissan sports cars this time. And we have a uh, Sylvia Spec R Aero S1502 Nissan R32 GTR V Spec 294. And uh, last but not least, Fairlady Z version S Z33. So let's see what um, they have to say about it. Luca, this time I would like you to collect sports cars produced by the Japanese manufacturer Nissan. Nissan's GTR, Z and Silvia sports cars are popular and much loved all over the world. Collect all three and bring them back here. I'll be waiting. Okay, so... We have uh, our target set. Let's see where we have to race. World circuits. I'm assuming it's all happening in Japan. Yes, Asia Oceanic or Oceania. Mm, we have Autopolis, we have Fuji International Speedway and Tokyo Expressway. Um, let's start with Tokyo, Tokyo Expressway. This is, the, this is my least favorite truck. We're doing a Clubman Cup 550 to get the uh, is it Sylvia? Uh, 550. Okay, what cars do I need? I need Japanese car. So let's see what I can choose from at the 550 level. That camera is a little bit on my way. Um, but I don't have really a 550 car. Uh, all my cars are below that value. And I think I would like to use the GTO Twin Turbo 91. I haven't driven that car yet. So, before we do anything, uh, let's change this car, but in the main game menu. Garage, 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 garage. Okay, so let's change the car. Let's change it to the GTO Twin Turbo. Lovely. And then let's go do some tuning. We need around 550 performance points out of this car. Uh, not tires, yeah, let's change tires first. We will go with the sport mediums. That's 495 and that's 510 straight away. But yeah, let's go with mediums. Uh, no, why would I? Let's go with soft. Those will be short races and uh, they probably won't be any so what other options do we have here? That's, I think, too extreme. Uh, yeah, okay, racing air filter. Let's put that. I don't want to spend too much on that car. Racing intercooler, yeah, let's put that. Uh, okay, I want the brake, racing brake kit for 3,000. Racing brake pads, that's just a grunt. Racing exhaust, uh, that's not too expensive. 3K. Um, what else? What else? The other stuff here is quite expensive. So let's go to semi racing from racing. Um, semi racing silencer, 6000. Yeah, let's get that. Oh, that was my mistake. I misclicked. I'm not done yet. Uh, uh, we were at semi racing. Here we go. Sports intercooler. That's the worst out of the bot, so no point. I think having a suspension, uh, high decibel sports suspension, would be a good idea, and that would bring it almost to 550. I'm curious if there's anything else I can do to bring it. 550. Uh, I think weight reduction, stage one, that's only 3,500 and that brings us uh, even higher than that. 
Um, that would reduce it. Are the purchases? Oh no, here we go. The computer will put us at 555. I like the number. Four, five, and eight. Uh, okay, the car is ready. We're already in that car. So let's move to <clears throat> the wall circuits and let's try in. Clubman Cup 550. Okay, we have three guys to listen to. Yamanaka. Guess what? I just got a new Supra. Oh, that's great. Is it the new one or the old one? Or. We'll see, I guess. Uh, you know, I used to cheer for them all the time, so I'm glad they bought them back. What? By the way, one of the interesting things about this truck is that the car park is sometimes used as a pit area. Area. He said something I missed. Uh, you know, I used to cheer. Ah, for the Supras. Okay, I haven't missed anything. Cool. Uh, Kokubun. Konnichiwa. My name is Ryota Kokubun. I like Mazda, so I plan to compete in this RX-7. Great car. I think Mazda's designs are absolutely beautiful. Some of them. Why did I start playing Gran Turismo? Well, my dad got me into it. He's been playing it since the first game. Well, I've been playing it since the first game. Fraga. I grew up in Japan, so I love Japanese manufacturers. This time I will race in my new Toyota 86. This truck features a number of hairpin turns that will require you to brake hard. I therefore recommend that you tune your car so that the brakes pack as much stopping power as possible. You can turn when fully applying the brake, so be sure to brake in a straight line, then ease off when turning. Okay, cool. So let's do a quick setup. First of all, assist. So, manual, traction control off, ABS off, uh, the rest is off. Now that's good. Now, car settings. We've got the sport softs, which is good. I won't be changing anything else, so it's default setup. Okay. Uh, We'll be driving manual. Hopefully the gearbox or the shifter won't cause me any issues today. Okay, third gear. Let's try our best. That's the RX-8. Quite slow that corner. And there was enough space on the outside. Two Nissans. I think they both are 43. I mean 33, of course. That was the first one, and that is the second one, and then there is Cynthia. Let's go on the outside, there should be enough space, yeah, okay, that was the Cynthia. 15 seconds for the first one. Toyota in front, Supra. Okay, uh, he was driving quite slowly in his corners. And uh, heavy braking. So that's Toyota. 86 in front. I thought that the guy was uh, telling me he's driving the new Toyota 86, not the old one. Respect, driving that, um, that model. And the fair lady, is that 30? And 
now we're chasing uh, four other cars. This shift there, uh, my mistake. That was um, a big synchronization between the stick and the uh, touch. Six seconds with uh, a bit less than two laps left. Yet, but I can see that Mazda RX-7 quite well now at that stage. Four seconds. A very fast uh, section of the tunnel. I'm going to leave, not because I have to, but because they're too close and I don't want to crush into anyone. I'm not going on the optimal line here, so I. Touch the brake pedal just a little bit. So we got Toyota, Mazda, and Honda. 86, or is it Subaru? No, that's Toyota. Uh, why do I say Mazda? Toyota, Nissan, and Honda. That wasn't nice, um, but I think we both were going too fast. The event like it was a mistake. Okay, let's uh, try to catch that NSX. Is it a 92? It's fast and straight. And the phone that was breaking type R02, okay. That Honda was breaking uh, in that last corner there, and that was the mistake. Uh, that's why I worked to it might be still there at the exit. Let's see if I can go through all those corners. I released it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I was mistaken. I don't think I can actually. I don't know. I'm a little bit more than two seconds up in each. Now it's less. I don't want to destabilize the car here as last time. I lost everything on the last corner. Second gear, we had the issue again. And now it's showing me it's a fourth. It happens so randomly. I swear I'm going to send it to Fanatec for a uh, replacement. I just don't want to because I'm using it so often and I don't want to be about it, but I don't think I have any choice.
Okay, so that's a win. Um, I needed more than one try here, I'll admit that. But it doesn't matter. So hot here in London. The weather is crazy this weekend. Okay, so I acquired my Sylvia. Two more to go. Yeah, I'm not going to watch the replay. No point. Let's exit that. And let's move to the next one, which will be... We're going to Autopolis now. Oh, it's the same 550 Clubman Cup. I'm going to use the same car. This time there's a Nissan 2v1. Um, okay, let's try it. It's another fantastic truck. Another one, obviously, I've driven on in Gran Turismo Sport, but I cannot tell I remember it. They have so many different layouts and... Uh, oh, there are three more guys to listen to. Gallo is the first one. Ciao, I'm Valerio Gallo. So he's Italian, right? I was the 2021 Gran Turismo World Tour Champion. Congratulations to you. I'll be racing in an NSR. NSX, don't you just love its solid, aggressive styling? I actually really like it. It's really important that you remain aware of what's going on around you when the race really hits up. Your MFD will give you a good idea of the position of the cars that are lined up next to you. It's a good way of making sure you don't crash into any of them. Okay. Lenoir, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Bonjour, it's definitely French. My name is Pierre Lenoir and I've come all the way from France to race. I've been a fan of the Nissan Z car since ever since I completed, completed in the GT Academy. Sure is a beauty. Tuning your car to get the most out of it is crucial. I also like to customize my car's appearance. In fact, I'm kind of obsessed with it. I don't care. I'll only be driving it for a few, a few races, which are three laps long, what, who cares? Fraga. I'm the instructor for the International B License. Getting your International B License is well worth it. You will learn all sorts of useful skills for upcoming races. Cool, okay. We'll listen to all of them. I won't be changing anything in the car, and I'm just going to start and see how... Mazda was really in the middle of the truck, rather to be on the outside uh, corner of the corner. I thought I would have more space than I had. That's quite busy here. find a space around them or a way around them and enough space to actually put my car there in the gap to overtake oh quite wide Ooh. could have been worse Toyota 86 And another Toyota 86, that's a new and uh, old one A race of generations that lab was, uh, but I'm on P5 with 11 seconds up to the first one and uh, with two laps to go. Mm -hmm. 
RX-7 Cool car, really cool car I thought I was on fur, fourth gear and I wanted to reduce to the third. I downshifted to the second instead, I was on third. Okay, I can see all three cars I have to overtake. Six seconds to the first one. They pretty much next to each other there. the order of the cars in front of me. I think it's NSX in the P3. The blue one I think is Toyota. Oh, that's white, 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 white. Okay, I'm having fun. So it's NSX, I think, Toyota, and I'm not sure what's the first car in the, in the group there. It's a P1. Nissan? Is it Fair Lady, is that? I think it is. Less than two and a half seconds. Oh no, it's uh, Skyline. Get a uh, R, R34. Okay, that was enough space here. Now on the braking, but I have inside, and it worked. But even though he was braking later, I had the inside of the corner and it was hurting, so he had little chance to do anything there. Keep that position. Unfortunately not with the H shifter, but it's causing a lot of issues, so sticking to um, sequential. Okay, and there is one more race to do to finish that book. And that race is... That race ends on the Fuji International Speedway. Uh, Clubman Cup 550 for the Japanese cars. Let's enter, let's do it. Let's get the last car and complete the cafe menu book. I think it's number 18. Okay, let's start. Oh no, we have to listen to our three, three guys again. Suswila, Suswila. Hello, my name is Adam Suswila. I'm, it's a pleasure to meet you. 
I've been a Nissan fan. I've been a Nissan fan ever since I took part in the 2013 GT Academy. That's a long time ago. Today I'll be racing in a Nissan Z car or Z. It's important to tune your car so that your engine is as powerful as possible. But that's not enough by itself. You also need to change your tires, upgrade your brakes. It's all about striking the right balance. Yes, it is. As fan of the comic book Initial D and having been born on August 6, okay, I said it as an honor to race in this AE86. It feels like destiny. One of the most fascinating things about the A86 is its lightweight body. Lighter cars tend to better to be better at cornering, braking and acceleration. Yes. And Simons, the last one. I've always been crazy about GTRs, the R42, the R33, the R34, all of it. And now I finally get to race in the R33. Cool. So let's race with all of them. They said what the of the game. I don't need those uh, wipers at the moment, maybe later. <laughs> Quite wild there. Uh, okay, so that was uh, Lancer. Then we have a GTO and a Skyline. Okay, so Toyota is behind me. Now I have uh, three cars here, which is NSX. Or maybe differently, it's uh, Nissan followed by Toyota followed by Honda. Bump there. So what do we have here? Uh, RX7, AE86, and I think it's a uh, Skyline 33. That Toyota may be good at braking, acceleration, and uh, negotiating corners, but it lacks uh, pure power. So the maximum uh, top speed is just quite low in the Toyota. Grand Turismo Slipstream. 
and it started raining. Okay, I'm the holder of the fastest lap at that stage. Let's put the wipers on. Lock the wheels a little bit, but still got in front of the PC. Now just the car ladies at 33, which is super fast and straight. Pure acceleration, I have no chance whatsoever with this. I have to overtake you before the last corner or I going to lose again. Okay, there was two wide first corners and I managed to, to do it. Hit me, haha. <laughs> I approach this corner differently than they do. I go wide, have a better uh, exit out of the corner. They go very narrow. But that costs them the exit speed. Uh, but when he hit when when he hit me obviously there wasn't much I could do here and I lost that advantage of uh, a good exit. But it doesn't matter, I still won that race. Good. I achieved what I wanted. Okay, let's see. Oh, what is the other book? I'm going to try the shifter again. I'm going to switch it back to one, two, three, four, five, six. The wheel displays everything correctly. Reverse. One, two, three. Oh no, now it was two. For a moment, there was even a reverse when I put the one. Yeah, we'll give it a try. <clears throat> Let's go back to the cafe. Ah, we've got new cars, so let's uh, have a quick look at them. I want to get rid of that marker. Car collection, all of them are Japanese cars, so let's go down there. That's the GTR 32. Uh, 33 is my favorite one, I think. I don't like 34 too much. It looks kind of... Ah, oh, the design is just bad. The, the rear is too big, the, the lights are too big. 33 is, I think, in my opinion, the best looking skyline. I have it, actually. Doesn't look like. Anyway, we also have a gift, which is a star roulette for driving marathon. Uh, so all my roulettes of despair so far were where I want the worst possible price, so let's see if the tradition continues. Yeah, it does. It's the worst possible reward. I think it's like 90% to get this one and then the small percentage to get the others. I don't think that's anything other than that. Cool, that's done. And going to the cafe, let's see what they have for us. Uh, for the next uh, menu book, those are the three cards uh, I just won. I'm happy with this cars. Congratulations, you've got all three cars. This completes your Nissan Sports Cars collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. 
Mont Panorama Circuit Unlocked, Kyoto Driving Park. Let's say what he wants to tell me about his course. Um, the Nissan Z and the GTR, you might have heard of these cars before. These are legendary models loved by car fans all over the world. The Z33 is the fifth generation Nissan Z and it's great in both styling and performance. This R32 Skyline GTR is one of the great Japanese cars from the 1990s. It's truly a legend, having been unbeatable in top Japanese domestic touring car races. The Silvia is also a model that has been loved by countless fans over the years. Combining a powerful turbocharged engine with rear-wheel drive, it's also a popular choice for drifting. It's easy to see why Nissan sports cars have always been a main mainstay of Japanese car culture. Great! A bit of a history there, and we are going to menu book number 19, collection Japanese rally base cars. That's interesting. Now on to the look. So you have a Subaru WRX STI Type, type S, a Mitsubishi Lancer Revolution Final and Toyota GR Yaris RZ High Performance. Now I would like you to collect some Japanese rally car base cars. Rallies are races in which cars built upon production models compete against each other. As the race don't take place on circuits, drivers tackle dirt roads, snow and other challenging surfaces. As you can imagine, base cars for rallying needs to be pretty powerful and you're going to collect three of them. They're all four-wheel drive, uh, so all four wheels are driven. This is also known as uh, all-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. <laughs> We're talking about some really nice motors here and I can't wait for you to bring them back to show me. Okay. Question is, do I need a rally car to compete? Because I don't think I have any. How does it work? So we have America and Asia Oceania. Let's look at Americas first. We have a trial mountain circuit here. Okay, so we're driving normal cars, but driving them to win a rally car. For oh no, we win. Okay, okay, understand. So we're not winning a rally car. We we win a a road version of a rally car. Four wheel drive challenge 600. So my car really is a Japanese car, a road car, and a four wheel drive. It just doesn't punch enough performance points. So let's go to basics and let's upgrade it a little bit. Stop. And I need to punch a bit more power this car. So let's let's apply the weight reduction. So apply. That would reduce it, that would reduce it, that would reduce it, and that would reduce it. Okay. What we have in a club sport? We have stage two of uh, weight reduction, so let's apply that as well. Always a good thing to have. Um, <clears throat> we could do the bore up, that would give us some power. It's only 5000, okay. High lift camshaft. Uh, maybe actually we could look here. It's, everything's so expensive here. Anti lag system, that doesn't change anything. Brake balance, uh, that's actually always good to have even though it doesn't uh, give us any performance points. Okay, semi-racing. Fully customizable computer, that gives us a little bit. I don't think it's enough. Okay, we have a racing intercooler. Okay, apply that. I don't need LSD at this stage. Uh, I could get, get more weight reduction. A lighter car is always better. That already put us at 600. 
And let's have a last look at at club sport upgrades. That was good. That would oh they have a suspension. Uh, I don't need this one. Uh, I don't think we have everything we need. We are at 608, which hopefully is going to be enough. Uh, let's try to tackle some of those uh, challenges here set before us, starting with the trial mountain circuit. I'll be trying again to use the eight shifter. Two guys to listen to you, Miyazono and Wonk. Uh, hello, Quelxes, I'm Takuma Miyazono. Growing up, I used to watch rally races on DVD, that's when I fell in love with Subaru cars. Today I'll be racing in an Impreza. Drivers who use their technique to overcome their car's lack of maneuverability are super cool. It's all about understanding your car's characteristics and driving accordingly. I would love to be able to do that in every race. Cool. Wong. Hi there, I'm Jonathan Wong and I've come from Hong Kong to take part in the race. It's a long way. You might know Trial Mountain from your IB10 tests. It's a tricky section, but the more time you drive it, the better you'll get in navigating it. Okay, let's let's try it. Those quick, uh, at least the uh, first few cars. We only have two laps though. That GR is just, uh, pretty cool, that GR. I'm not sure if this is the high performance version one, but yeah, it's still pretty cool. I'll be really careful with the gears, making sure that I'm on the correct one. Uh, let me, because uh, they, they may cost me a bit of time, but that's the only way to do it. Really. A big slide. Okay, that was cool. It wasn't the fastest way over the corner, but it was still cool. I'm not sure why this race uh, is so much easier than the previous races. Only pushing, mate. I'll overtake you here because you will be going deep. Surprisingly, I didn't have any issues with the gearbox uh, so far in that race. Hopefully it's going to stay that way. Knocking out all this probably is uh, jinking. I'm 
was braking early enough and I didn't go into this big slide. That's why I went straight to the wall. Uh, I accelerated too early. such a vintage that was stupid I lost all that vintage obviously did one stupid mistake wanted to have some fun and it didn't work out well Didn't uh, didn't fail, but I failed. There we go. First out of three, I guess. That was a cool one, uh, quite easy one. If I did a mistake, the advantage would be around nine, ten seconds. Clicking, clicking. I forget about clicking. They always ask me to click, 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 click. Crazy how much clicking there is. I need to see if I can switch off the replays. I really don't need them. Okay, so what's the next one? The next one, the next two will be in Asia, Oceania. And we have uh, Mount Panorama and Kyoto driving park. I'll go with the Kyoto first because Mont Panorama is definitely one of the coolest trucks. I want to leave it as a uh, last thing. Uh, what are we winning here? Uh, Toyota. Okay, let's drive. Let's drive. Mangano, what's up to us? Uh, ciao, I'm Giorgio Mangano from Italy. I've been racing since I was 10 years old. Go kart racing it is. Now, the thing with four-wheel drive cars is that all four wheels are powered. This means you get incredible traction when exiting a corner. This also means that cornering can be a bit tricky, so it's important to keep your turns tight and compact. Good, let me just check something here on my uh, computer. Okay, and let's start the race. So the third gear is the correct gear here. Yeah. That's two Toyotas, uh, one of another. Interesting. Very slow in these corners. So we have two laps here as well as in the previous race. I cannot be wasting any time. Happened finally.
final lap, uh, one more car to overtake. I think it is a Lancer. One. It is a Lancer. That was seven. No, six. That was six. that downhill braking is much much easier than uphill or on the even surface which seems to be correct uh, the front of the car should be heavier downhill and as uh, front wheels uh, the front brakes do it heavier work during braking, uh, having more weight on the wheels, uh, yeah, the downhill braking should be easier. And what I mean by that is that it's easier to lock the wheels even without ABS during downhill braking than any other type of braking. Okay, that wasn't a hard one, that was actually quite easy. That was uh, second out of the three races. That GTO is really nice. I like the color as well. Okay, um, let's move to the last race and be done with that book. That's Ariaris, GR performance car. Looks cool. Okay, and more clicking, 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 replace. And the last one is Mount Panorama Circuit in Australia. And here we're fighting for the Mitsubishi Lancer. Let's go, let's do it. Oh, I forgot to talk to these two guys. I want to actually talk to these two guys before the race. See what they have to say. It's Wonk again. My hometown of Hong Kong is a beautiful place surrounded by mountains and sea and packed full of skyscrapers. The local food is delicious, of course, but Hong Kong also gives opportunities to eat cuisine from around the world. By the way, here's an interesting fact for you. This truck is usually used as a public road. Yeah, Mount Panorama is. Zal, I love ra railing and that's why I'm a fan of Subaru. In particular, I love the Impreza. Colin McGree was so cool. So happy that I can compete in this Impreza 22B. That's the best looking road Impreza. It's really interesting that fitting a center differential to distribute the drive force makes it move like an FR car. So a car with a front engine and a rear wheel drive. Okay. That's, uh, that's all they wanted to say, so let's do some racing.
all of the truck, the elevation change, how narrow it is. Such a great place for racing. Sometimes it's hard to believe that GT3 cars are racing here. 12 hours long race. What the hell, drive me. I don't think even on that long, long straight, downhill straight, I'll be able to put the fifth gear. a little bit just trying to see how fast I can go in these corners, yeah. I have enough advantage just to play a little bit. And that's the end of it. <clears throat> that was the third race of, from that uh, menu book. That should give me the Lancer, the third car, and I'll meet the requirements to complete that book. Here we go. Tubish Lancer Revolution Final from 2015 model. And we get some more points to our collector's level. Long way to go, I think max level is 50, if I'm correct. But there is a plenty of cars to collect, another replay, which I don't want to look at. And uh, yeah, okay, that's all. Let's exit, let's go to the cafe. Can I use that button? 
cannot. Shame. That would be a good way to. A really good shortcut. So let's collect. Uh, well, it's not a reward really, but uh, let's complete the book. Here we go. Those are the free cars. For, uh, congratulations, you've got all free cars. This completes your Japanese rally base cars collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. That's my useless roulette ticket. And let's see what he has to say about these free cars. Rallying is a form of high speed racing that takes place on closed of public roads. The pinnacle of the sport is the World Rally Championship. It's an incredibly popular competition, one that any lover of motorsport is sure to know a thing or two about. Rally cars are capable of incredible speeds and on just about any kind of surface. Truly breathtaking sight. Japanese manufacturers have been producing cars for international rally races since the 1960s, but they are perhaps best known for their exploits in the 1990s. It was an era when the key to victory was having a four-wheel drive car with a turbocharged engine. And this was something that Toyota, Mitsubishi and Subaru seemed to do better than anyone. All three of these four-wheel drive sports cars have more than earned their rightful place in history. Perfect. Uh, Menu book number 20, show your custom wing. I think that's something uh, I can do easily, quickly. Let's see what they want us to do. Uh, go to car customization at the GT Auto and fit and custom wing set. Before you take on the Asia Oceanic Championship, I would like you to tune your car. Go to car customization GT Auto and select custom parts. Then wing to fit a custom wing set to your car. It doesn't matter which car you use, but custom wing sets aren't available for all models. If you go to the shop and a custom wing set is available, try using a different car. If you're not sure which to use, I would suggest the Nissan, G, Nissan R32 GTR you collected previously. A custom wing set will definitely give your car a sound, a soaked up appearance. Uh, come back here once the wing, the custom wing set has been fitted, I'll be waiting. I still don't like those uh, custom parts. Uh, quite often they make the car look just uglier than it was before. Uh, let's go to the garage first. I think we have the roulette to do. Uh, we want to see the three cars we have here. Like this, this Mitsubishi is a good example. The the little wing is is perfect. It's uh, it doesn't need anything else. Like as long as it's not a racing car which needs a proper wing for a good downforce, then putting this ugly, I want to be a tuner wings, just make the car look uglier. Uh, I take the GTR32 as he advised. That's awesome car as well. Let's see the car collection, the three cars we got. Uh, they're all Japanese, so let's go down to Japan. Uh, that's the Subaru, that looks good. Uh, Mitsubishi Lancer, I think that looks even better. And the Yaris, which I really, really like. It looks amazing. Small car, but man, it looks great. Okay, cool. Uh, and the roulette, let's do it quickly. I use this, uh, I probably will get the lowest possible price again, as always happens. <laughs> what is it, 5,000 or less? 5,000. Yeah, basically, if I don't buy the cars, I won't get them. That's how it works. Um, and let's feed that wink, as they ask us to do. So we got standard, and the standard looks really good, actually. Wingless. Wingless missing something. That wing looks really good. Type A, that's not too bad. Type B. I know that's good as the standard one. And that's this, oh, the custom is so ugly. Oh, the low one is not too bad. What types do we have here? Ah, oh, those are the sides, okay. Bloody hell, they're horrible. I 
of them. Like, who needs so many? More would be good. This one maybe. Type four. Seven. Type nine. Okay. Seven thousand. Yeah, I can live with that. Oh, that's achievement as well. Wow. I change here. Ah, things like that. Okay. No, that doesn't look good. I don't think that car needs diffuser. Lights. That's just addition to the original one. This one changes, changes completely. But, but I'm not spending the money. I don't have the need to do that. Okay, well, I did what I had to do. That took very long to apply. Okay, let's complete that cafe. Well done, another menu challenge successfully completed. Your car looks completely different with that custom wing, doesn't it? Uh, maybe it does. And what's more, it will allow you to adjust downforce. Oh, okay, so those wings actually serve the purpose. That's good. You can adjust your, you can adjust your downforce by going to our dynamics in car settings. Try increasing downforce for technical courses and decreasing it for high speed circuits. There's all sorts of other parts available in GT Auto as well, so you can customize to your heart's content. Now then, next up is the Asia Oceanic Championship. It's time to put your tuned up baby to the test. And I got another red ticket, and this is the championship. So, I've got three guys to listen to. Let's see what they want to say. Chris is first. Uh, of all the Nissan Skyline GTRs, this R32 stands out as a revolutionary. From the late 1960s to the early 70s, the Skyline seemed to be near unstoppable in the Japanese race circuits. However, Nissan halted production in response to the 1973 oil crisis. In 1989, the GTR name was revived with this R32 Skyline GTR. Nissan poured all of its technical know-how into its development. The hard work paid off as the R42 dominated the competition from the get-go winning the hearts of motorsport fans. I can only imagine that its value will continue to increase over time. Then we have Jeremy. Did this car, is it yours? Ah, Jeremy, nothing gets past you, does it? Jeremy loves nothing more than geeking out, geeking out about racing. Oh man, I mean, I can't help myself when there's a car like this sitting right in front of me. Third generation GTR Skyline played a lead role in reviewing, re reviving interest in Japanese touring car races. A major hit upon its release in 1989, it's said to have sold some 43,000 units despite its high price tag. A racer diversion was developed shortly after, claiming a pole to win victory in the 1990s Japanese Touring Car Championship. Following this great achievement, it boasted 29 consecutive wins over the course of four years. And then we have Tom Matano. Does the Skyline GTR belong to you by any chance? Aren't you Tom Matano, the famous designer who worked for GM, BMW and Mazda? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you both. Wow, Matano-san, it's truly an honor. Tsutomu Matano is known for his work on the Mazda MX-5 Miata Roadster. He's worked in Europe and America for quite a while now and is widely known as Tom Matano. You know, I used to drive my friend's PGC-10 GTR a lot. 
that's what got me into sports sedans of a uh, wolf in shape's clothing nature. Now then, this is the model that set the basic formula for the modern GTR. First of all, it evokes a clear sense of volume. Then, by weighing down the rear fender, its designers made the car look like it was squirting, squatting. That said, the GTR is in a position to transcend the GT. Furthermore, it marked the beginning of the era of sensor-controlled vehicle dynamics and other high-performance atoms. That is all to say that the current GTR is the rightful heir to this R32 GTR. Wow, thank you for sharing that with us. I look forward to discussing car design in more depth some other time. Cool, that was the free guys. Uh, we did the menu book and uh, we have the ticket to go for the roulette uh, to collect another useless reward. Let's do it. I don't know what the free star means, but it probably means that uh, I'll get the lowest price possible. There we go. As expected. Okay, that's done. And that will be all for today, because the championship I'll be doing uh, next time I'm back to do some racing, hopefully with the fixed shifter. I'm going to uh, open a ticket with uh, Fanatec right away after this session. So thank you all for watching and have a great Saturday.